course, now that we know what the t curves are, we're going to have to be able to find the critical t values so that we can do the confidence interval piece that we know is coming in another page. So just a reminder before we go any further, which is that alpha is the complement of your confidence level. So the center is your confidence level. I'll just make a note over here. Alpha is the area in both tails, right? Alpha and the sea level are complements of each other. Just a reminder that we learned that back in section 9.1 and it's still true, they're complements. Okay, so um, we have our method right here. We'll have to note that we need that degrees of freedom that was mentioned um, with the T curves. So we'll need to know the degrees of freedom to know which curve we're working with. All right, so let's see how this works. So down here, we're going to determine the critical T values for each of these cases. So the first one, we have a 95% confidence interval for the mean. Now that's important because the ones for the mean, once I tell you it's a mean, that it has to be a T because this is coming in a page, but the confidence interval for the mean uses T, not Z. So that'll be a Q that it's for the mean, so it's for T. So let me just highlight that real quick. So since it says for the mean, that means it's a T. Since N is 17, that would mean the degrees of freedom is n minus 1, which is 16. I guess I should say 17 take away 1 in this case. All right, so the center, let's think, we have a 95% highlighted. So that'll look about like that. Let me get a shading on it. I'll shade the center. and that center is worth 95%. This is a negative t alpha over 2 and a positive t. And the alpha over 2 is just a little subscript letting you know that you know it has areas in the tails. That alpha over 2 is in the area of this tail and alpha over 2 is the area in that tail. That's all. All right, so we just need to go to StatCrunch now. So let me grab StatCrunch. In StatCrunch, we want to go to Stat calculators T. It's almost at the bottom. Right? So click T. Then of course we want between because we're looking for two values and we want a central portion to be shaded. We have to tell it the degrees of freedom. So the degrees of freedom is 16 and then we put the area in which is 0.95 and say compute and there it is. Okay so we write that down. So P and then I know it says X, but that's because they programmed it weirdly. I mean, it is random variable X, but I'm going to call it T. So, so the probability that negative 2.0 oh, fiddlesticks. I already forgot what the number was. 2.1199. There it is. 2.1199. One, I always use just whatever. Stack current gives me so and it gives four decimal places so I just stick with that is equal to 0 0.95 so your t values which is what you were looking for are right here and right here All right that's what it says to do right in here you put your degrees of freedom in you put your confidence level in and your answers will be in the two red boxes or you could say plus or minus t alpha over 2 um, is equal to plus or minus 2.1199. That's another way to put it. There we go. All right, so then what about down here? Well, down here, I was a little bit sneaky and I gave you alpha and n is equal to 35. Okay, so if alpha is 0 0.005, the confidence level is 1 minus alpha because they're complements of each other. Right, you can just make a little note. Right? Right, because they're complements, that's how that works. All right, so that means that I want to shade quite a bit more of this picture. 
because I want to show you 0.995. So I'm going to make the central portion a little bit larger than I did on the one above. And then this is 0.995. This is negative t and positive t. We can put the little subscripts there, but they're there. Okay, so the only other thing I need is I need my degrees of freedom. So you can see that n is equal to 35, so that means degrees of freedom is 35 take away 1, which is 34. Okay, so let's go back to StatCrunch. So we're going to make 34 for our degrees of freedom. I'm going to put 0.995 in as the area, and then press enter or compute, and we have it. So it's negative 3.002 or positive 3.002. So those are the answers. You can write it like this. That's fine, and that kind of shows work. Or you can write it like this. And if you want to put the little subscript there, you can. You won't be marked wrong if you're missing the little alpha over 2 subscript. It's fine. All right, that's it. So that wasn't too bad. Now, I am going to show how to do this with the calculator and with the table also. So um, if you're using StatCrunch, which almost all of you are, just skip ahead to the next video. All right, calculator folks, let me grab you the calculator. All right, here it is. So we're going to go to Distributions. And we're going to go to inverse t right there. Yes, an inverse t does not work nicely. <laughs> so um, it needs the area in the left tails. You'll notice there's no left, center, right option. It's not giving us an option for left, center, right, which means it has to be the left tail area. Ugh. So calculator folks, you have your work cut out for you here. So you're going to have to first find alpha over 2. Well, first you have to find alpha. Okay, so alpha is 0 0.05, right? Because it's 0 0.95 take away from 1, right? Because they're complements of each other. So then alpha over 2 is 0 0.05 over 2, which is 0 0.025. So this is 0 0.025 right there. That's going to be the area that we're going to put in. So we'll say 0. 0, 0.025 on the calculator. Degrees of freedom is 16. We go down to paste, we press enter, we press enter again, and there we have the same value, negative 2.1199. So there you go. So it's in inverse t, but you'll have to put in alpha over 2 and your degrees of freedom. It's written up above, right? So in this case, it was inverse t 0 0.025 comma 16. So that's the TI. All right, same thing down here. Uh, we'll have to get alpha over 2. So alpha over 2 would be 0 0.0025 because it's half of that. So this tail right here, I'll label it as 0 0.0025. So then down here for the TI 84, it would be inverse T. 0 0.0025 comma 34. So go back to second distribution. Number 4 is inverse t, 0.0025 and 34. Paste, enter. There we have it. Well, I'm just going to leave it, but you can see it's the same answer.